how your childhood affects your success in life. What we learn as well as what we do as kids affect us, not only as kids, but as grown-ups. The things we are taught and the habitual thoughts, beliefs, and emotional responses we develop go a long way to determine the decisions that affect the course of our lives, according to Amy Morin, a cognitive behavioral therapist who helps people uncover unhealthy thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that interfere with their goals. When people come to her for therapy to discuss their marital discord or to uncover why they keep sabotaging their chances of success, they end up talking about their childhood. According to Maureen, even the people who walk through the door saying, I don't want to discuss my past, eventually bring up stories from their youth. In this video, I'll share with you how your childhood affects your success in life. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Mary McCarty, a best-selling author, lecturer, and business mogul who has helped to start and grow six successful companies as large as $100 million in annual revenues, when discussing how she became a very successful serial entrepreneur in an interview with Bizzolt, said, and I quote, I grew up as the last of 10 children in Hawaii. Developing sales and negotiating skills were a requirement to get noticed in a family our size. Although my father was a surgeon, he demonstrated a passion for entrepreneurship in the business that he started. Eight of his 10 children are entrepreneurs, and I have been part of six startup companies, growing the largest to over $100 million in annual revenues. My parents also demonstrated seven others by giving in our community. My father gave away free care to patients who couldn't pay, and my parents helped doctors that were new to our area to get their start in our community by giving them a period of free rent in their office buildings and helping them to find patients to serve so they could build their businesses. Our family always had more than enough and my parents attributed this to giving first to receive. That's been a lifelong belief of mine and shows up in almost everything I do. I spend a lot of my time and resources helping others to succeed and their life dreams. Like my parents, I've received more than enough as a result. According to T. Harv Eker, the author of Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, how you react to the fluid circumstances of wealth is all determined by your money blueprint. Your money blueprint is how you have to be programmed to respond to money and wealth throughout your life, beginning from your childhood. For instance, every time you heard your parents say things like, money doesn't grow on trees, money is the root of all evil, you were being imprinted with beliefs around money. These beliefs from your money blueprint guiding or leading you into your financial destiny because our beliefs and associations about money typically determine whether or not we have any. They impact your approach towards money and wealth. The trickiest part, however, is that you may not be aware of these beliefs because your money blueprint is deep-rooted and subconscious. Your childhood doesn't only form your money blueprint, but also forms your core beliefs about you and the world. Your childhood gave you a sense of who you are, the things that your parents, teachers, friends, or siblings said about you, and how they perceived you, shaped your interactions and choices. Also, your experiences determined whether you saw yourself as a kind, smart, sociable, intelligent, individual, and the likes. And what you ended up believing about yourself determined some of the choices you made. For instance, if you grew up believing that I am not smart enough to go to college, You'll view every mistake, bad grade, tough problem as a proof that you're not smart. Likewise, if you believe you're not likable, you'll have trouble making friends. You'll struggle to keep close relationships and these relationship struggles will end up reinforcing your belief that you're not a likable person. Your childhood also affects your belief about the world. Children who grew up in a calm and relatively caring environment will likely view the world as a relatively safe place to be. Hence, they'll look forward to a bright future. They'll likely trust people, know how to build relationships, and improve their network. On the other hand, kids who grew up in a harsh environment and ended up becoming victims of one or two circumstances would like to view the world as a wicked and cruel place to be. They're likely to grow up with a survival mentality because all that matters to them is being able to feed themselves and their immediate family. They'll likely believe that the world is a place of struggle 
and you need to go through so many rough times to become successful. They might even believe that financial freedom is not attainable until you have come of age. According to an article from the Annual Review of Psychology, social class determines attitudes that people develop towards success. Kids of higher income parents tend to learn how to become self-made from a young age. Their parents encourage them to follow their dreams. They may give them the tools and support to pursue various interests, to think creatively, to work independently, and to take initiatives. Kids from less wealthy families, on the other hand, tend to emphasize the need to work so hard because they believe there is pride in hardship. Hence, they let their children figure out their limits on their own. As a result, they are not aware of leadership skills and tend to do what they are told without taking risks or stepping out of their comfort zone. Summary Our childhood affects our success in life because 1. It is during our childhood days that our money blueprint is formed. Money blueprint is formed by how we are made to perceive money, whether as something good or as something bad, whether it's difficult to get or something that can be gotten easily. 2. Our core beliefs about ourselves are formed in childhood. For instance, what we perceive ourselves to be, either kind, smart, likable and the likes, can go a long way in affecting how we treat people and how we make certain decisions. 3. Our childhood also helps us form our core beliefs about the world. Is the world a safe place to be? Is struggling a part of life? Can money be made easily? And the likes. 4. The social status of our parents determine whether or not we believe in financial freedom and how quickly we can achieve it. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.